Today we're going to be trying Coca-Cola Move, the latest Coke Creations release, which I kind of enjoy that they're doing this. You know, they've had hits and misses. I like the Space one. A lot of people didn't like it. I understand that. Uh, the Marshmallow one I thought was okay too. So now we've got Move, which is, according to this, transformation flavored. Um, no idea what that means exactly. And it's created in conjunction with Rosalia. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Name right there. Apparently a music artist of some kind who I don't know and never heard of. Um, but that's okay. She's probably famous because I'm out of touch and uh, I don't know a lot of, you know, modern stars or whatever. Uh, so I have a little blurb here from Coca-Cola. We're going to use this to get maybe some clues as to what exactly this is supposed to, it's supposed to be. Here's the little blurb here. Let me read it out. <clears throat> The newest Coca-Cola creation, co-created with one of the most daring artists in music today. Again, could be true. I listen to music from the 90s and 80s and almost exclusively don't listen to anything new, so that's my bad. Is a celebration of transformation in a homage or homage, homage, however you want to pronounce that, to all the versions of ourselves that coexist within us. Okay, we're getting a little deeper. And that forms our very own personality. So we're talking about... Uh, a post you could probably put on like the reddit for fake deep stuff um that's fun coca-cola move is a tribute to the different faces of transformation mixing a great but familiar coca-cola taste fair with both bold and delicate flavors coca-cola move is available for a limited time only so get yours before the newest from coca-cola creation is gone for good um and then it just says Transformation Coca-Cola mixes a great but familiar Coca-Cola taste with both bold and delicate flavors. Serve ice cold for maximum refreshment. So that really doesn't give you any tips. It just says that there are both bold and delicate flavors in addition to Coca-Cola, but doesn't say what those flavors are. And of course, as usual with the ingredients of Coke, there's no way to possibly understand because there's only a few ingredients and one of them is natural flavors. So you really don't know what flavor is going to come under the yoke of natural flavors. And this can is really, really hard to uh, focus on this camera. I don't know why. So anyways, nutrition information gives nothing away. I should also mention they do have a zero version of this. Uh, sometimes they only have zero versions. Sometimes they don't. This one has a regular and a zero. So anybody who needs to drink zero, which is probably what I should do, but I wanted to try the regular. Um, they do have a zero version available. And they're also available, and they're only available in these little cans and the 20 ounce bottles. Again, I wish I could find the 20 ounce bottle. I, that would be great, but I only ever seem to find the cans first, so I had to pay pay up uh, $5.98 for a 10 pack of these tiny cans. So I really hope this is good um, because I'm gonna have nine more. And I still have a lot of, the, I drank one more Peeps Pepsi uh, after I posted that review and I have like eight cans left. Um, so maybe I'll get through them. Let's try it out. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I'm going to admit something here. I wouldn't normally do this, but I 100% I have cheated because I've been sitting here trying to figure this out. I drank most of the can and I, was, I could not really identify a good taste that I could tell you guys uh, for sure. Uh, it tasted vanilla-y to me. It almost tasted like a vanilla cream soda. which I still do agree a little bit, but I looked it up because I was really curious to see what people said and one person wrote something very specific and I think that it's very true and it's coconut. Um, it took me a minute. I was like, as soon as I read the word coconut, I was like, right, you know what this tastes like? It's almost like a Coca-Cola mixed with a pina colada. It's got a, a kind of strong coconut, creamy coconut flavor. But I'm not exactly sure because people say pineapple. I don't really get the pineapple. I, it kind of tastes more coconut forward. But there is some kind of more bitter aftertaste, which is interesting because it comes off super sugary and coconut forward and creamy. Um, but there is kind of a almost bitter aftertaste. Which I don't, I don't, I don't think is a bad thing. I think it's good. It, it makes an interesting kind of um, duality to it. I guess that you know, I guess that's the point is that it's transformation flavored, 
And uh, while that doesn't really make sense, I guess it kind of does tie into the theme that it's sugary and coconutty, and then it kind of has a more mellow back end, which, if you know if that makes sense, a more mellow aftertaste that's not really sugary. It's more on the opposite side, um, but it's not like bitter, bitter, but it's just different from the sugary Coke taste you would normally be used to. But I, I genuinely like this. It's, it it kind of tastes like, like I said, it tastes almost like a pina colada mixed with Coke or like a uh, guava, like a, if you think of like a coconut, pineapple, like guava juice or, you know, if you ever get those at the store, like um, things like that. Like usually they're like Hispanic brands or Mexican brands of guava juice that are like coconut, pineapple and stuff. It tastes very much like that. And it does have a thick aspect to it. This, this Coke itself has a thick creamy aspect to it and it's not it's more creamy than a regular coke and it's on the vanilla coke spectrum in terms of cream levels if that makes sense in terms of mouthfeel so i like it again the only thing i could really um i'd really say i'd like improved which is that something i like improving a lot of products in this you know market is just put more bubbles in it put more um carbonation in it um, because I really feel like that would enhance the Coke itself, um, because it, it, it is on the creamier side. They probably would have to carbonate the water more. I don't, I don't know how the chemical reactions work, but this is closer to a cream soda than a regular Coke. And one of the things I really like about Coca-Cola itself is that it's heavily carbonated, um, and it's got that kind of spicy, bubbly, popping sensation when you drink it. And you don't really get that with this because it's more creamy. Um, but I do like, um, I, I think this is a solid four out of five for me. Um, I would honestly, I would definitely put it above the Peeps Pepsi. The Peeps Pepsi was more of a novelty product. I feel like this could, I mean, it's not going to stick around, but you could argue that this could stick around because it is a really interesting flavor and it's all on its own. And it's something I could see myself drinking again. Whereas the Peeps Pepsi, it's like I'm drinking them because I have them, but these I actually do genuinely like kind of a tropical twist on coca-cola so cool um the shout out to rosalia who has a quote in here which i'll read really fast i'm so excited for this co-created drink launch with coca-cola i hope everybody enjoys this journey of music flavors and creation as i did i have a lot of fun creating um l l y l m which is her new single why like you love me and this collaboration with coke the grammy award-winning artist said so good for her i guess she's you know she's great and all that good stuff never heard her music before um i guess check it out if you're interested but uh you could definitely check out her coca-cola i think it's really good and um i'd be curious if anybody gets the zero version if they can tell me um what the differences are because usually with zero versions there's there's some difference but sometimes they nail they nail them pretty good sometimes they're very close um and i'd be curious to see how close this one is to a kind of coconut tropical punch flavor of coca-cola so with that i will see you all next time